<laughs> Alright guys. Oh I found the piece. <laughs> Alright. I'm attempting a front cage on a dead bull. I took off these pieces. Fenders. I got one piece on there. This is my cousin Dagger RC's body, the gangster stew. I also added a grill for him because he took off his old one and I had an old from the green body. So we just cut it out and put it on. All right. So my cousin had a good idea to put another bar right here. What the heck? I don't know if I got super glue on my sleeve. And now it's got a little bit of a A little bit of an angle to it. I'm using styrene rod for this. I don't know where I put it. All right. Not the hollow one, not the tube. <clears throat> Doing the rod because it's going to be in the front so it could be more solid and more weight. All right, now I added a little cross member right there. I'm gonna add another to the side. I just usually roll the styrene because this is the rod as I dig the blade in. And then just break the little piece off. And then with tweezers, because I hate doing this with my fingers. No. I see if it fits. Nope, I cut more. Probably better if you measure it, but I don't like to measure because I feel like it still comes out shitty. I don't know, I'm retarded or something. I only measure when I'm at work. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm about to put glue on it. I don't even know if I'm ready yet. Ooh, that might be it. Just gotta turn it over. Just a little bit. Just like that. Hey. <laughs> I probably should do it with my fingers this time. I feel like this one's more back. Hey, it's a cow fixer. <clears throat> All right, got it in. Hit it with the spray. I don't think I got a good. There you go. And then put a little dab of glue on this side. I'm also going to put glue on the inside of the bars. It's so shaky, what the fuck is wrong with Why don't you gonna leave it white too so that you could just plasti dip it again, the whole thing all like one color? Uh, let me see. Now we're gonna make some more crossbars. Sometimes I feel like I talk too low, but I don't even know. Oh, you know what? Put it on the chassis. I also made him some rock sliders and I upgraded his motor. 
for free ninety nine first Christmas gift. Uh oh. <laughs> what happened? I gotta cut the rock sliders in more now. But that's okay. It's an easy fix. I had to give his um, rock sliders a little snipperoo. And then there it is on the body. Now I'm gonna see where, probably I'm gonna match the frame rail right there and give it a little slant. As long as it's not, yeah, it's not in the way. Oh, actually, yes it is. Oh, you know what? I feel like we could just leave it like that, cause look. Yeah. <clears throat> you just can't get no more bigger tires. Barely clear. And then get uh, more extenders. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could extend the wheel. I'm sorry. And even extend the front like how I did it on all mine. Four link extend it. You know, stick out more. Yep. To where the servo is all the way out here. But I feel like I shouldn't put a cross brace. I think I'll just leave it like this. Just add probably more of these. All right. All right, next one I added right there. I think it actually looks pretty sick. Basically, he wanted something kind of like this one. So, I was like, we can make that happen. All right, now I did the other side. I think I'm gonna add one more in the middle or just leave it like this. I'm gonna ask him right now what he, if he likes it, how it looks. I added a bar in here for strength. A little crossbar. So hope it doesn't break on him because he lives in Utah. So I don't get to see him very much. And then I'm just gonna hit these edges. Some sandpaper. Bro, you should do like a big ass meat in Utah. Dude, that'd be sick to do a meat in Utah. I don't even know nobody that drives these in Utah, so. Just you and Tonya. The newest creation <clears throat> for Dagger RC. He wanted the front to have a little cage work. So we made that happen. 